Here are some weird and fascinating facts today. In 1518, one of the strangest events in history occurred in Strasbourg, France. A woman named Frau Trophea stepped into a street and began dancing fervently. And she didn't stop. Within a week, 34 others had joined her dancing spell. By the end of the month, 400 people were dancing uncontrollably. They danced day and night for weeks, screaming of visions and begging for help. Many died from strokes, heart attacks, and exhaustion. Musicians were called in to play soothing songs, but the insane dance went on. By September, the bizarre episode finally ended, as suddenly as it had begun. To this day, what caused hundreds of people to dance wildly and unwillingly for months remains a mystery. The mystifying dancing plague of 1518. Here are some weird and fascinating facts today. In December 1952, a deadly fog rolled into London that would leave over 12,000 dead. This toxic mix of smoke and fog descended on the city for five days straight, so thick that visibility was reduced to just a few feet. As Londoners breathed the sulfurous air, respiratory problems surged, quickly overwhelming hospitals. The deadly smog seeped into homes, shops, and theater shows, leaving people gasping for breath. With air pollution levels over 20 times higher than normal, the killer fog claimed thousands of victims, mostly due to respiratory tract infections from the toxic air. As suddenly as it came, the fog lifted and dissipated. The 1952 London fog disaster prompted England to pass clean air regulations to prevent any similar lethal air pollution events. Here are some weird and fascinating facts today. In December 1926, popular mystery author Agatha Christie vanished after leaving her home, abandoning her car at a quarry. A massive manhunt ensued while speculation ran rampant on her whereabouts. For 11 days, no trace of Christie could be found, sparking national intrigue. Suspicion fell on her husband as tabloid gossip exploded. Finally, she was recognized at a hotel where she was staying under an assumed name, claiming no memory of the last days. Despite speculation of memory loss, suicide, or murder plots, the details of Christie's disappearance were never fully revealed. To this day, the strange vanishing of famed author Agatha Christie for over a week and her cryptic reappearance remain shrouded in mystery. Here are some weird and fascinating facts today. In 1932, Australia found itself at war with emus. Large flocks of emus were damaging crops in Western Australia, so the government deployed troops and machine guns against the birds. However, the emus proved nearly impossible to eradicate. The highly mobile birds would scatter and dodge gunfire, seeming to mock the military's efforts. Despite deploying machine guns and organizing ambush maneuvers, over several weeks troops managed to kill only a few dozen emus. The bird's small lake of success against the organized Australian military quickly became an embarrassment remembered as the Great Emu War. After the utter failure to significantly reduce EMU populations, the government withdrew. In the end, the troublesome emus prevailed against the military might of Australia, cementing their unanticipated victory in this brief and bizarre conflict. Here are some weird and fascinating facts today. In 1816, a bizarre weather pattern caused global temperatures to plunge, resulting in what became known as the year without a summer. In the spring and summer of 1816, temperatures dropped considerably across North America and Europe. Frost and ice were reported in June, while July and August saw snowfall across New England. Crops failed and livestock died, resulting in food shortages. Later dubbed 1800 and froze to death, the unseasonable cold was thought to have been caused by ash in the atmosphere from the 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora in Indonesia. This strange period of abnormal cold had widespread impacts, creating food riots and prompting Mary Shelley to stay indoors and write her novel Frankenstein. The year without a summer demonstrated the far-reaching effects volcanic eruptions can have on global climate. Here are some weird and fascinating facts today. On a small, remote island in the Pacific stand, enormous stone sentinels that have mystified modern civilization. Easter Island is dotted with hundreds of massive carved figures, some over 30 feet tall weighing 80 tons. How did an ancient civilization without modern technology craft these statues and transport them around the island? 
Many remain partially buried, while others lie toppled. Theories suggest they walked or slid them into place using ropes. Their meaning, and what led to their creation is still debated. These haunting monuments reflect incredible ancient ingenuity, artistic expression, and engineering. But their origins and purpose, crafted centuries ago by the vanished Rapa Nui people, have left many unanswered questions about one of the world's most intriguing and enigmatic ancient mysteries. Here are some weird and fascinating facts today. In the 1860s, photographer William Mumler discovered a macabre way to manipulate photos by developing images of deceased loved ones posing with the living. This technique, known as the Mumler process, involved using double exposures to imprint a transparent image of a dead person onto a portrait. Mumler then sold these spirit photographs as mementos to grieving clients who believed they captured their past relatives. However, Mumler was eventually taken to court, accused of fraud after people recognized some of the spirits as living people. Though Mumler was acquitted due to lack of evidence, his exploits illuminated the Victorian fascination with connecting to those who passed and how easily photography could exploit it. The Mumler process demonstrated both the promise and trickery possible with early photography and its role in supernatural pursuits. Here are some weird and fascinating facts today. In the sweltering summer of 1858, a choking, foul stench enveloped London, giving rise to what became known as the Great Stink. As temperatures climbed, the Thames River, filled with raw sewage flushed directly into it from overflowing cesspools, began to putrefy, unleashing an unbearable smell across the city. The noxious miasma was so intense it drove people indoors, halted river traffic, and even overwhelmed the routine business of government at the Palace of Westminster. Dubbed the Great Stink by the London press, this maladorous event prompted Parliament to finally approve plans conceived years earlier by engineer Joseph Bazalgette to construct a vast underground sewer system for the city. This marked a critical turning point for London's public health and the end at last to its great stink. Here are some weird and fascinating facts today. In 1945, a peculiar phenomenon puzzled the American public when a Wyoming farmer beheaded a chicken and astonishingly, it refused to die. Despite having no head, Mike the headless chicken wandered his yard, attempted to preen its lost feathers, and even tried vainly pecking for food. Fed with liquids via an eyedropper, Mike improbably lived for 18 months before finally perishing in an overnight choking incident. Many speculated some vestige of Mike's primitive brainstem remained intact, enabling his one-of-a-kind survival. The uncanny case captured widespread attention and enduring public intrigue for years as visitors flocked to see the freakish Miracle Mike the Headless Chicken. This bizarre true story became an eccentric icon of 1940s Americana and left doctors completely baffled as to how this most improbable of anomalies could have lived at all. Here are some weird and fascinating facts today. In 1959, nine experienced Russian hikers were found dead in the Ural Mountains under mysterious circumstances that haunt investigators to this day. The group, led by Igor Dyatlov, was camped on the slopes of Kolatshakl when an unknown event sent them scrambling from their tents into the 30-degree night. When search parties discovered the abandoned camp weeks later, there were more puzzles than answers. Tents ripped open from the inside, tracks showing the group fled barefoot, and extreme injuries like fractured skulls and missing tongues that couldn't be explained. Over 60 years later, theories swirl over what may have driven the experienced adventurers to such a gruesome fate high in the Urals. This is the disturbing mystery of Russia's infamous Dyatlov Pass incident. Here are some weird and fascinating facts today. There is a place near the Chihuahuan Desert where radio signals cannot penetrate and compasses spin out of control. Known as La Zona del Silencio, the Zone of Silence, this barren stretch of land in northern Mexico has long been home to mysterious phenomena and strange events. Tales tell of unidentified flying objects, magnetic anomalies, mutated plants, and meteorite showers. In 1970, an Athena test rocket launched from New Mexico went off course and crashed in the Zone of Silence. When scientists went to investigate, 
they experienced firsthand the area's perplexing radio interference. Over 50 years later, the zone of silence continues to confound those who study or stumble upon it. Is it mere atmospheric illusion or a true portal to the paranormal? The enigma endures. In 1912, Polish book dealer Wilfred Voynich acquired a medieval codex written in an unknown script that continues to stump cryptologists today. The 240-page Voynich manuscript contains strange diagrams, illustrations of plants that don't exist, and text written in an alphabet that no one has successfully deciphered. Based on the vellum and ink, experts estimate it was created sometime between 1404-1438. Aside from the riddles in its pages, there are other mysteries surrounding its origin and purpose. The first confirmed owner was 16th century Holy Roman Emperor Rudolf II, who believed it held mystical secrets. Now known as the world's most mysterious book, the Voynich manuscript has puzzled scholars, confounded codebreakers, and remains an impenetrable enigma over 600 years later.